everybody, Max Rich here, and that's uh, You Oughta Know, well at least that's the chorus of it by Alanis Morissette, super famous song, um, and really really catchy one. And in today's lesson what we're going to do is I'm going to sort of teach you how to recreate the song using just a guitar and a looper pedal. Um, and within that we're going to cover the chords, we're going to cover the actual guitar parts, not just the chords, um, but the actual licks and things that the guitar plays. And then on top of all that, we're going to actually talk about the vocal melody, which, what I, which is what I was just playing now. I was playing the vocal melody on guitar, which is a hugely useful skill to have, um, being able to pick up melodies and play them on, on guitar, because when you play with a singer, obviously you're not playing the vocal melody because they're singing the vocal melody. But when you're improvising and you're maybe playing a solo or you're maybe filling licks in between chords or something like this, it's incredibly useful to be able to pick up notes and phrases from the vocal melody and sort of put them, you know, like where, where you want to improvise or where you want a little uh, flurry of notes or something to, to be, to exist within the song somewhere else. Because uh, the vocal melody is the catchiest part of the song, right? And most of the time. And, and if you can pick those notes up, you're really sort of adding to that catchiness of the song rather than taking something totally out of left field. You know, if you're playing the song and you throw it a Stevie Ray Vaughan lick, it may be cool to you and a couple other guitar players, um, but it doesn't necessarily fit the song. Um, so from an artistic standpoint, it's a lot better to, to base what you're gonna play, your improvisations, your licks and stuff, off of a vocal melody rather than off some something that's totally unrelated. So uh, keeping that in mind, we're gonna cover You Oughta Know right now, so don't go anywhere. 